There are four essential ingredients which can bring you to the top. Hi, I am Rahul Bhardwaj, student of Fidji's four-year classroom program and upgraded to integrated. I recently appeared in JE Advanced 2017 and I have been awarded with an All India rank of 20. And I am also the Mumbai city topper. I also cleared the first stage of the Olympiads, the NACP, the NACC and the NSEA and also cleared the second stage of the National Physics Olympiad and appeared in the Physics Orientation Come Selection Camp. I have also been awarded an All India rank of 7 in KVP by I was an average student. Like when I gave FTRE in class 8, my rank was 1806 and my RPI for J Advance was around 10,000. So the journey from an RPI of 10,000 to all in All India rank of 20 has been uh, full of struggles. As I said, in, in 8, my rank in FTRE was 1806. I worked hard and in 9th when I gave FTRE, my All India rank was 540. And in 10th, it was 320 and 11th, it was 24. So you see, you don't need to be gifted. If, if you want to get a good rank in JE, like even from an average student, I was able to get an All India rank of 20. So that just shows how important hard work is. And being gifted is just irrelevant. It, it all depends on how much of effort you put in. You need to have that resilience and have faith in yourself that you will get there. I faced quite a few challenges. One of them is peer pressure. It's a very common problem that many students face. You tend to focus more on what marks others are getting and you, you tend to compare your marks to them. That's something which you, sh you should avoid. Then basically a part of your energy is getting wasted. So you don't need to do that. Just focus it on your work and uh, you'll definitely benefit from that. Second challenge I would like to talk about is exam temperament. Like initially when I gave tests, I used to get tensed. Like I, I wasn't able to complete my papers on time. And there Fiji helped me. They gave me multiple tests to practice and you need to do that. The more you practice, the more you'll get in that exam mode. I feel uh, exam temperance is really important for JE Advance like, because it's a three hour exam and you need to stay fo focused throughout those three hours. It took me quite a few tests to get used to that, get used to it, staying focused throughout those three hours and finally I did it, so I'm really happy about that. Thirdly, I would like to talk about getting bored. It's a problem which many people face. Even I face this problem, like I was weak in chemistry. I felt I was uh, giving it some time. I was practicing those topics which I was weak in but still I was not getting results. Uh, this is where my parents and the teachers at Fiji helped me. They told me to just uh, stay focused on my work and eventually the results will come. And they did. And the consistency worked wonderfully for me. Fourth, I would like to talk about fear of failure. Initially when I gave exams, I used to think about things like what if I don't do well? What will my friends think? What, what will my parents think? My teachers, they expect a lot from me. So what will they think? But that's something which you don't need to think about. So just focus on your work and everything else will fall in place. I feel beginning early is always an advantage. Like I started preparing for IIT since 9th. That gave me an edge over those preparing since 11th. Because if you start from 11th, then you have just two years. That will put extra pressure on you because you have to do all that uh, effort which uh, people do in four years. You have to do that in two years. That will put more pressure on you and that can uh, backfire also because uh, you may feel those preparing since 9th are superior than you and you can never match them. So I would suggest students to start from 7th. And if not 7th, then 9th. I feel grit is one of my better qualities, which helped me sail through ITJ. When I joined Fiji in 9th, many of my friends were, were also with me. They, joined, they also joined in 9th. And we all of us faced the same difficulties. But by the time we reached 10th, many of them, uh, they gave up and left Fiji. That's where I feel my grit helped me. I also had that patience to keep trying again. And finally, it paid off. So have patience and keep working on it. There are four essential ingredients which can bring you to the top. Speed accuracy, time management, and as I said before, uh, exam temperament. Speed, I feel, gives you an added benefit. Like if you have good speed, you can finish your paper early and you can check your questions, which you've done. And if you find any errors, you can eliminate them. Accuracy is another important thing you need to keep in mind. Like if your speed is not good, out of 20 questions, you're able to solve only 15, then just get them all right. That, that'll, that'll also boost your score. Sometimes the paper is really easy, so their accuracy comes into play. So I feel accuracy is very important. Third important thing is time management. Like, you need to decide what amount of time you need to give to each subject. If you feel you are spending more time on a particular subject, don't feel that you are wasting your time. It will eventually benefit you. So just uh, find out your weak areas and give them more time. If you are able to manage your time, like you get three hours to solve a full uh, question paper, you need to divide it properly based on how good you are in all the three subjects. Like I used to give one hour to physics, half an hour to chemistry and then the remaining to maths. 
like this you need to decide which subject you can solve quickly and which subject you need to give more time so divide your time accordingly and just stick to it just stick to the timetable you made for those three hours and if you're able to do that well your exam will certainly go well and fourth is exam temperament for an exam like JE advanced you need to have a solid exam temperament Initially, I joined in the four-year classroom program. The first two years helped me develop my basics, but still I felt two days in a week were not enough if I was preparing for JE Advanced. So hence I upgraded to Integrated and that helped me a lot as it gave me more time to practice and more time to consolidate my skills. FITJ has helped me a lot in preparing for JE Advanced. Like you need to have a good study material and a structured teaching mechanism. That was all there at Fiji. And regular all India tests were held, which helped me judge my performance at the all India level. And because of that, I was able to bring myself from an RPI of 10,000 to an all India rank of 20 in JE Advanced. The gurus at Fiji, they've helped me a lot. Apart from studies also, the moral support they provided was great. In 11th, when I gave KVPY, and get a good rank. And I was really low, I was really feeling low. But that was the time uh, they motivated me and told me to concentrate on my work. They, they had faith in me, they told me the results will definitely come. And they did. My family has always been supportive. Like when I told my father that I want to take up science, he encouraged me to go further and he didn't put any pressure on me. Even, even after getting an, a rank of 20, when I told him I want to take up computer science, like he, he didn't say anything, he had no objection and he told me to do whatever I want. And I'm really grateful to them. My message to all JE aspirants is that just get, get this off your mind that JE is a tough exam. If you're consistent and you stay focused, then you'll definitely succeed. I'm really grateful and thankful. I'm grateful and thankful. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I'm really grateful and thankful to my parents, my teachers, friends and the systems at Fiji.